Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am very excited for this video. I know I say that in like every video ever, but this one's a special one, okay? Um, let me zoom you in just a smidgen. And okay, so first things first, I did rearrange my room. Uh, this is where we're gonna film now. I actually am in love with the way it looks currently. It's, uh, it's been a work in progress, okay? Day, I know I didn't upload yesterday. Yesterday was the 11th, today's the 12th, obviously. Um, I was actually waiting on this uh, package because I was supposed to get it, uh, oh, sorry, my table leg was caught on the tripod. Anyway, um, I was supposed to get this the 10th and I didn't get it till last night and it was too late for me to film it with it last night, so I'm actually filming with it today. Hope you guys don't really care. And I know my hair is wet, so it's just pulled back like this. I just got out of the shower, so we're gonna ignore that. But um, yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Um, you know, help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. And let's go ahead and get into this video because I'm already starting to ramble. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about here. This is the new Clean Sephora collection. They actually sent me this. Um, and I'm like geeked out about it, okay? So they attached a lovely little note and I will be reading that off today just to give you guys some more information about the products because there's actually quite a bit in this box. So when you open it up, I've actually, I've already looked in it because I was so excited that I could not wait. Um, it looks like this. I've never received any type of product before for free or in PR or anything like that. So when I got the email from Sephora, I was literally so excited. and. I received it, I want to say almost two months ago, maybe even longer, and I received this yesterday in the mail, and I am so excited. So we're actually going to be review reviewing it today. So it came in this big box, it says a uh, bag, it says Sephora collection on it. It's really cute, and I love that they sent a makeup bag. They sent a lot more than what I was anticipating. I knew it was going to be a foundation, because um, when they sent the email, there was a picture of a foundation attached. But I didn't know they'd be sending all of these goodies as well. So, we're going to be trying them out today. Or at least some of them. Some of them I can't use today. So, I'm just going to go through this real quick with you. Um, so, they sent over a bunch of masks. I don't drop them all. So, the masks. Now, with a new clean formula, these sheet masks are made from eucalyptus fibers and are rich in vitamins, minerals, and proteins targeting specific skincare needs. I actually um, tried, I think it was a Neutrogena face mask while I was in Scotland, and I absolutely loved it. I unfortunately have not used a sheet mask since. So, in here we have the seaweed mask, and this is all from Sephora, um, like the brand Sephora collection. <sighs> This uh, boosts skin hydration, acts as a shield to protect skin against discomfort for skin that feels revitalized and restores its natural radiance. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna use a mask today just because I wanna save them, I think, for like a different day or something, but this one is the seaweed mask. I love the packaging on all of these. Um, this one is the peeling mask. Uh, refines and evens out skin texture, smooths the skin, and gives a peeling effect for more radiant skin and instant new skin. So this one you only leave on for three minutes, and this one you leave on for 10. Um, yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna use these today. I was going to, but truthfully, I had to be at work, and I have to leave for work in about an hour and a half, so I don't think I'll have time to do a mask. And I, and I kinda wanted to save them for their own little thing anyway, so we can do them in a different video another time or something. Why do I feel like you're putting it down? Is that better? I don't know. I haven't really figured out the whole tripod situation with this new um, environment, so just bear with me. I think it must have been hit because for some reason you were pointed down. I think that's a little bit more accurate now. This is the hand mask. I didn't even know that hand masks were a thing. This is the cucumber hand mask. Um, instantly hydrates skin and cuticles, protects hand, protect hands from dryness. For hands that are perfectly hydrated, so, so clear and softer, so this you leave on for 15 minutes. Um, I'm actually pretty excited to try these because on my hand here, um, it like peels a lot. It's just this hand, it's just my left hand, and I actually have like a bunch of patches of dry skin on my left hand. It never happens to the right hand, it's always the left one. Um, 
so I'm pretty excited to try this. Uh, I think they're like gloves. I don't know. I'll probably do this on Instagram or something. And then this one is the Cactus Foot Mask. Uh, instantly refresh feet, soothes feet, feeling of fatigue and giving a relaxing effect for feet that are relaxed, freshed, and feel soothed. Uh, this you leave on for 20 minutes. This you leave on for 15. Um, I'm actually also really intrigued by this. Uh, I'm pretty excited for this because with my new job, uh, a lot of the days are longer days, like 13 hour shifts. So I feel like this might be perfect just to put on after I've been on my feet for a long time. This one, I don't know really how to pronounce. Um, I think it's le le leche, le leche, I don't know. Uh, face mask, <laughs> it's cute. Um, it moisturizes the skin instantly and throughout the day gives an immediate glow effect for skin that it was vitalized, fresh and luminous. This you leave on for five minutes. And then the last one is a coconut face mask. Um, nourish the skin, instantly reduce the appearance of redness and relieves tightness for skin that is soothed and more comfortable. This you leave on for five minutes as well. I love the packaging on all of these. Like it's real cute. So those are all the face masks. Then they sent over these. Um, these are the Sephora Salicylic Acid Clarifying Peel Pads. They purify and exfoliate. What do these do? I uh, like the glow peel pads, but these contain salicylic acid. These peel pads are formulated with 99% natural ingredients to exfoliate, smooth, and purify your skin. So I'm assuming they're like these. Um, these are by First Aid Beauty. These are facial radiance pads. Um, they exfoliate, tone, and brighten. I got these in a boxy charm a couple months ago. I'm assuming they're like that. So I'm actually going to open them and just see what they look like, just so you guys know as well. And I think some of this has actually been available for a while. I think only the makeup is new releases, I think. But just to be safe, I'm going to show you guys everything. Uh, yeah, so they look... They look the same. So I think they're like a similar product. I don't know if you'll be able to see in there because they're just white. Um, they look the same as these ones. Um, they're just a little, I think they're a little bit wetter. Yeah, they are. The Sephora ones are a little bit wetter. Um, these, I do like these. I don't use them a whole lot. I like to use them if, if I've been outside or when I used to work in a kitchen, I used to use these after work because like the grease and stuff on my face. Um, so I'm pretty intrigued to see if I like these or these a little bit more. I'm assuming these are going to be a little bit cheaper than these. First day is a little bit more on the expensive side, so maybe. Then they sent over two of these. These are, this one is the Sephora Grapefruit Exfoliating Wipes. Um, so these provide an immediate peel-like effect to skin, illuminates complexion for skin that is more uniform and radiant. So these are like exfoliating wipes. I tried um, charcoal ones. Do I still have them? I do. They're right here. They're in my box of stuff I'm getting away, uh, giving away. These, I got a box of charm. These are the Evio Aurora wipes, refreshing cleansing hemp wipes. I'm assuming these are going to be similar to these. I was not a huge fan of these, um, but I will try these as well. That's actually why I'm giving those away. The wipes, these biodegradable, that's cool. They're biodegradable and compostable wipes are now formulated with natural ingredients such as plant extracts and wood pulp fibers. Fun fact, 65% of the wipes new packaging is derived from sugarcane residue. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I didn't tell you anything about the wipes, did I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I'm stupid. So, yeah, these are the grapefruit ones, and they sent over um, charcoal gentle exfoliating wipes. So, do they do the same thing? Gently exfoliates and instantly purifies skin, refines and smooths skin texture for clearer, softer skin. So, no, they don't do the same thing. Um, they're similar. So, this one's glow. This one's purifying. So, I like the packaging on this. I like, like, the colors. I really like that. That's cute. I don't know if I should, should I use one today? We'll try the glow ones, I guess. Then they sent over the um, Hyaluronic Acid Brightening Eye Cream. This is so freaking cute. I mean, look how tiny it is. It's so cute. This says, this eye cream does double duty in the hydrating and brightening department. It's key ingredients, caffeine, hyaluronic acid, and mutra, plant bark, extract work to reduce the appearance of dark circles, puffiness, and signs of aging. So, yeah, it's just like an eye cream. You guys know I love this guy right here. This is the Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes. But this is $70. I got this in a boxy charm as well. I would never pay $70 for something like this. 
but I do love it. So, I mean, it's gonna be very sad when I run out of it. So I'm hoping this is like a similar maybe type of product. Uh, apply AM and PM around eyes. So we might try this. Then they sent over this guy, which Caitlin already swatched. Caitlin was in this um, last night. This is the Clean Bouncy Eyeshadow Palette. It says these eyeshadows fun, bouncy texture makes them easy to apply with your fingers. The shadows are made with pearls resulting in gorgeous, lustrous sheen. So I don't know why I put this back in its box. I mean, it can, it doesn't need to be in a box anymore. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like and it's in the, it's the Monarch palette. I don't think the colors have names. They do not, but they look really pretty and they are like a, like a bouncy, they're not cream, but they're not quite a powder. They're like that in between type of texture. So like when you put your finger in it, it does leave a fingerprint. I can actually see where Caitlin was watching it last night, but that's okay. Um, I'm really excited about this. Um, they, they look gorgeous and for every day before work which is what i'm doing today i think it would be perfect so we are definitely going to use that today as well Alrighty. so they also sent over this little bag that was inside the big bag and this is what i'm most excited about i'm really really excited about it these i think are the new releases like these are the new launches um so they sent over the whole range of these, which I am so excited about. Thank you guys so much. I'm not kidding, this made my freaking day. I have had a terrible past couple weeks and this just turned it all the way around. So thank you guys so much, I needed this. Y'all don't even know how much. Um, so these are the Clean Glossy Lip Oils. It says, is it a lip oil, is it a gloss? Well, it's both, this pigmented oil gloss hybrid Gives off a beautiful non-sticky shine. Watermelon seed oil is used to provide extra hydration. Look at this. They sent over every single shade <laughs> and I'm dropping them all. And I might swatch them all for you guys. Cause like, look at this. I'm so excited about these. So they have a bunch of different uh, colors. I know this is like a really long thing, but I wanted to show you guys cause these are really cool and I was really fascinated we only have two more things after this but they have a ton of like different colors like i think there's nine of them here or something but um they have those and then these i'm also really excited about they sent every single shade over of these as well these are the clean lip mousse um this whipped formula sits comfortably on the lips while serving up serious pigmentation for long lasting color rose hip oil helps to heal the lips and keep them nourished so look at these colors Look at these colors. I say as I drop them. I am probably most excited about these. Like they look great. I haven't swatched them or anything, but they look amazing. And I'm so excited to try them. So we have those. And then finally we have this. I think this was like the big star of the show. This is the Clean Glowing Skin Foundation. It says this foundation allows for sheer to medium coverage while giving you a soft, radiant finish. Matcha tea powder works to provide long lasting hydration and vitamin C powder helps give your skin a natural glow. So, we'll put this over here for now. Um, this is the foundation. I think uh, last night I was already looking to see what shade I would be. I think I'm the lightest one that they sent. Um, so I think I'm number one. So I have shade one, three, five seven and nine here um but this is what the foundation looks like it kind of reminds me of the there's like a covergirl one in a very similar style of packaging i don't know what it is um but i've seen a lot of people use it online and that's kind of what this reminds me of so i don't think um five seven or nine are going to work at all because i think they're going to be way too deep my cats are being crackheads i'm sorry um so I'll just put them back in here for now and we can give them away later. Um, Cause I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them quite yet. A lot of places aren't taking donations right now. So I think it's just gonna be me asking my friends and family, hey, do you want a foundation from Sephora? Um, but I'm, I'm pretty excited about these. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. And I need a mirror, I don't have a mirror. Start with the uh, Grapefruit Gentle Exfoliating Wipes. God, I can't get them open. 
They smell really good. They smell really good. I'm so excited. Oh, it's like a cool texture. Okay, so it's like, um, it's kind of like a cheesecloth texture, but not quite cheesecloth. <laughs> um, it's not as fine as cheesecloth, but that's what it reminds me of. I like that they're biodegradable too. I think the bumpy side is the side that I'm supposed to use. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so there's like a bumpy side and then there's like a smoother side. So I'm supposed to use the bumpy side first. I love the smell of these. Apparently this is supposed to help get like, I don't know, stuff off your face. Dead skin cells and dirt. I have to use these after like a really long work day or something and let you guys know how they like do about removing dirt or something. Okay, so you can totally see that my face was dirty. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but you can totally see the like their dirty marks right here. Like ew. But and then you take the smooth side and you like run it over according to the instructions. I really like the way this smells. It's not an overpowering scent. So I think if you're sensitive to smell, I think you'll do just fine. Wow. Okay. Let's let that dry for a minute. Okay, so my face is a little sticky after that, um, which was my big deal with the pimp ones it, but it was like a really really intense sticky feeling this one's not really intense um yeah, so they're like glowing i think it definitely gave my skin a little bit of a glow it's a very light very natural glow so it's nothing crazy so i think maybe if you don't like that look you might like these i don't mind them yeah they worked if they got crap off my face so Heck yeah. I don't think I would use these to remove makeup. Yeah, it removes impurities and dead skin cells. So my face does feel smoother. I have dry skin and it does feel smoother. I just need, now it just feels like I need a moisturizer, which isn't bad. So I don't, I don't mind them. I definitely will keep using them. I do like them. Um, I like the smell. My face feels fine. Yeah, it's not too sticky. I do that a lot when I like, move my face to see if it's like a super intense sticky feeling and it's not. So I do like these. Um, yeah, they're not bad. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Lubriderm Daily Moisturizer and moisturize my skin today. Um, this is a product I use all the time, so I think it'll be a fair bet against the foundation. You guys, I don't think you guys understand how excited I am for these lip products. I am most excited about the lip products. I saw them and was like, yeah. Hi, this this is the Sephora, it's in French, Hyaluronic Acid Brightening Eye Cream um, that I got as well. Just put this on just a little bit. I like to put on my Murad one before foundation and concealer, so I might do this one. Just try it out the same way. Might end up keeping this one in my bathroom, actually. Oh, it feels nice. Oh yeah, that, oh yeah, I'm a big fan of that. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, yeah. That was an instant, like, refreshing feeling underneath my eye. That was nice. That was, I'm a big fan of that. Oh, yeah, I think I got that actually in my bedtime. That's okay. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm a fan of this for sure. Let's do a little bit on the eyelid, why not? Oh yeah. So it feels similar to the Murad one. I think this one might be even more hydrating. So that's a good sign. It is a little bit smaller, but it's probably a lot cheaper. So I'm okay with that. But it kind of looks like a little bitty jar of ice cream, but I love the way this feels. So we're gonna have to keep this guy close by. I'm put him right there. Okay, so this is the Clean Glowing Skin Foundation. Um, this is in the shade one. I also have shade three here. I think this one's gonna be too pink. Okay, so one thing right off the bat with this, um, nine, I feel like eight out of 
eight times out of ten I'm wearing a medium to full coverage foundation not light to medium um, but I do like this one which is the winky Lux. this is a just like tinted moisturizer type product so I do like this one um, I do have quite a bit of light coverage foundations as well sometimes it really just depends on the foundation it is glowing so I think I'll be a fan but I don't actually know that um, I'm just kind of assuming so we are going to try it out today I'm hoping that I like it I am going to apply it. I have a brush here too just in case the sponge doesn't work but most of the time I apply foundation with a sponge so we're gonna try it with a sponge first and go from this is a very intense yellow undertone like I might end up using shade 3 this is very yellow Ooh. okay so it's not bad it's definitely a lighter coverage but it's not so light that it doesn't look like you're not wearing anything which is kind of my issue that i have with the winky Lux one is it was it is a tinted product so it, it does what it says but that's why i don't use it a lot is because you it, you really it, it's so natural you can't really tell you're wearing anything and i'm like a all or nothing type of girl you know i'm wearing like a full face glam or like i'm not wearing anything but I do like this. It's looking beautiful on my skin. It's not uh, clinging to any of my imperfections. It looks very nice. It might be sitting a little funny around my nose, but literally every single foundation ever does that. So I can't really hate on it for that. I'm not kidding. Every single foundation I have sits weird around my nose. It's just... It's just what it is at this point. I've just learned to deal with it, but it's not sitting any funny anywhere else. It's not sitting funny on my imperfections. It's not sitting funny on the spots on my face that might be a little bit drier. It's very, it's a very natural finish, which those are my favorite type of foundations. The natural to like dewy, luminous finish. Those are my favorites. You're subscribed. I just got a shit ton of foundation in my hair. See that? It's okay. We'll just like, we'll just rub it in. We'll just deal with it. Oh yeah. I like that. It kind of reminds me, like coverage wise and the way it looks, like the Maybelline Dewy, uh, Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. That's my favorite. Uh. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on just to see if you can actually layer it. Okay, so it's not going weird. You can definitely tell where um, two foundation layers are, but I mean, it's not cakey in any way. It just looks a little bit more, you know, full coverage and maybe a little bit thicker, but it's not going all weird and like, you know, uh, what is it, clumpy and it's not separating or um, clinging anymore. Oh yeah, I'm a big fan of this. It also kind of reminds me, really, it reminds me of the Maybelline one. It also reminds me of the NYX Born to Glow. It kind of reminds me of that as well as I throw it on the floor. Uh, I think I might actually like this one more than the next one. If look at that. That's what it looks like up close. Like, it looks so good. Do you guys see that in the glow? This is my bad side. This side always looks a little bit worse, but this side looks fantastic. Even on my forehead, do you guys see that? I mean, you can still see my lines, cause duh, I mean, they're there, but um, yeah, I'm, a big fan of this it's like a nice everyday foundation it's not too crazy these are the foundations i film with the most you guys know that like this type you know not i don't want to say super thick but like i feel like that's the right word um i like this i 
like this. It's nice. Um, it's a lighter coverage for sure, but I mean, that's what it says it is. So it's exactly what it says it is. It's a med light to medium coverage that's glowy. And I like it. Like I said, this is the Sephora S Clean, Clean Bouncy Eyeshadow Palette. And this is the one from Monarch. Um, it looks like this. So for me, I would use this product. My eyes at you. I would put a powder eyeshadow in my crease uh, just to deepen it up, give it a little bit of depth, and then I would go in with one of these. Um, these are all shimmery, so that is why I would use them that way. That's how I personally would recommend using it because that's how I would just normally gravitate to use a product like this. So I'm going to use it that way because that's how I normally would use it, and I don't want to think it's absolutely garbage because I didn't use it the way that I normally would have. So I'm just going to take this palette the one that I've been using for a mirror. This is the Tarte High Tides and Good Vibes. I mean, I'm just gonna use it because it's already out. And I'm just gonna take the shades Beach Therapy and Aloha Beaches, which are these two here, and put those in my crease, um, just to give my eye a little bit of depth. All right, so I'm gonna take this middle shade on the bottom. I think it looks really pretty. And I'm gonna take that one. Yeah, they're like a creamy, powdery type of texture. Oh! Oh, okay. Yes, pigment. Look at that. You guys see that? Hell yeah. Look at that. You're kidding me. That was so easy. Like, this would be a perfect, perfect product for, like, every single morning you slept in, um, you're running late, you just want to throw something on. This that was so quick like you don't have to build it up you don't have to do none of that and you definitely don't have to have the crease colors in there at all i mean you literally could just have this shade on your lid and just blend it up into the crease with your finger and you'd be good to go like literally in the matter of seconds wow i am impressed with that i am since i did use powder just gonna do that so you could totally do what I'm doing here. That's this is how I normally would use this product, but you definitely don't have to. Wow. Okay, so I'm in love with this. I'm gonna take this shade right here. And maybe just a little bit of this, because I wanna use another one of these. Oh, I'm gonna put that right in the center. My eye. And I blend it out so like it's not even really that noticeable. You guys know I do this quite a lot. I like, don't oh, just like add something that's so similar. It's not too noticeable, but it just adds a little bit of depth to the eye. I do that a lot on my channel. Look at that. Sephora. You only had this one on your website last night, okay? Because I looked it up to see if there were other shades because I literally loved the way this looks. If this is the only one, you need to make another one, okay? You need to make another one. Formula just like this formula just like this I love this look at that look at that eye do you guys see that it's a quick natural easy oh my god every day this oh shit okay I love that eight of these so these are the clean glossy lip oils that I spoke about earlier this one's in the shade juicy it's number one um it's just a clear gloss I think maybe if I do it, uh, if I do it on the back of my hand, I think you might be able to to see it better. So, ooh, that is juicy. Hence the name. All right, that one's just clear. I don't know why I bothered swatching it because it's just clear, but it's just a clear cloth. <laughs> that was so dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, and then number two is apricot. This one looks like my kind of color. Yup. Yup, this is this is my jam right here. Look at that shade. Look at that color. That is a that's a Haley color. Okay, right there. Are you kidding me? I like that they're not super pigmented. I like that they're like the natural gl glossy type of uh can you guys see that? No, don't focus over there. Don't focus over there. Focus right here. Alright, um, yeah, you guys see those? Those are like the lip oil glosses. They are lip oil, like consistency. Um, 
like finish wise and then they are like a lip gloss consistency when you apply them so i think it's a perfect name for them so those are the lip oil glosses um i quite like the array of colors they're um not super super crazy um and it's supposed to be like a clean natural type of line i just dropped my rag ah. it's supposed to be like a clean natural type of line i think like it's supposed to be like clean you know clean at sephora and like natural beauty um with like natural products in it and i do like that they're not super pigmented because you know this color would intimidate me if it came out this pigmented like this would intimidate me and it doesn't so i do like that so now we're gonna swatch these i'm most excited about these these are the liquid lipsticks the mousse liquid lipsticks so this one's in the shade number one pine so they're liquid lipsticks oh i thought they were like <gasps> You're joking. Okay, so I, I understand where they get the name mousse from. They're like a mousse consistency. So there's number one, pine. You're kidding. Look at that color. That's a Haley color. These are phenomenal. Okay, if you get anything from this video, get one of these. Look at that. The colors, the pigmentation. I'm shook. So I'm going to wipe them off before I get it all over me um they do stain which is a good thing but my hand is now stained with pigment okay so i think i'm gonna wear oh my god i don't know i don't know which one i want to wear um oh my goodness uh so many options <laughs> okay so I think I'm gonna wear, um, for the liquid lipstick, I'm gonna do peony, and then for the gloss, I'm gonna do watermelon, because I'm gonna try one of both. So, we'll do the liquid lipstick first. Okay, so that was the lipstick. One, super easy to apply. I mean, super, super easy. It's very easy to control. There's a lot of pigment that comes out, but it's not too much. It's like the perfect amount. I just had to go in literally ever so slightly just to do this side of my upper lip. But I mean, the pigment, it's even, um, it's very easy to use. The wand is very, very nice. I quite like the shape of it. That color is beautiful. Do you guys see that? Mm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That is, that's my shit. All right, so now we're gonna try the lip oil gloss. This is in the shape of watermelon. I just wanna try one of these um i don't think the liquid lipstick is actually like a liquid lipstick i think it's um like a liquefied lipstick i don't think it's like the um anastasia liquid lipstick so i don't think it's going to dry down to be a complete matte transfer proof finish i think it's still going to transfer it is matte but i don't think it's going to dry down that way so i'm gonna try <clears throat> this guy just a little bit the gloss is Please tell me the camera picked that up because I have no idea what that was. The gloss is not sticky at all. So yeah, I mean, look at that face. The foundation, beautiful. Um, again with the fucking camera, what the hell? Um, foundation, beautiful. Eyeshadow, stunning. I mean, literally so fast, so quick, so easy. It was, this is the perfect work look i mean you won't be able to see my mouth at all but you know all know all know that i'm wearing lip gloss but nobody else will but i will um it's gonna get all the inside my mouth but you know what that is a price that i'm willing to pay okay i love this look i mean literally everything just worked so beautifully so i think out of everything i've tried today I would say the wipes are probably my least favorite, but they're not bad. I really liked everything. I like this. So these aren't something that I would have purchased on my own literally at all. I don't think the foundation would have turned me away. Um, all of this would have, Hazel's being a weirdo. Um, 
meal I wouldn't have purchased it on my own just because I'm just like eh, I'm usually not a fan of like lip oil glosses you know I don't wear a whole lot of lip gloss but let me tell you they're great they have great ingredients um they're very comfortable they are just amazing so I would recommend literally anything I've tried in this video today I would recommend it to you like it is great I, I honestly am at a loss for words I am still shook by these liquid lipsticks like are you kidding me i'm shook by these i'm shook by the lip glosses the eyeshadow palette has me shook i'm literally i lost words do i have lipstick on my teeth no <gasps> okay so that is it for this video um i really hope you guys enjoyed and even though it was a longer one i wanted to be as in depth as possible without hopefully boring you guys to death but i really liked everything and you guys will totally see these products again in future videos for sure i mean especially these lipsticks i mean come on these lipsticks you're kidding but um make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave help me reach my goal of 1000 subscribers and i will see you in my next video